Thai version of Manila in the Baguio city of Luzon. Look at the rice terraces, the vast rice terraces developed by the farmers, the local farmers of Don Salvador Benedicto. to Old Sagay, we're dropping by, we thought of dropping by a shortcut, which is Don Salvador Benedicto. When you're traveling and taking a detour, sometimes you get to see places you don't expect. So we're at La Guardia. This is part of uh, Don Salvador Benedict. I'm gonna show you beautiful, beautiful scenery around you. my video. Guardia Cafe is a stop mover when you want to go somewhere else. The dropping bot Don Salvador Benedito. <laughs> One of the must visits in Don Salvador Benedicto nowadays is Doma Speak. You can visit them on their Facebook. They have a Doma Speak Facebook account. You have to book Doma Speak a month before your uh, travel. They require a minimum of five persons per visit. And so they could book the whole place for you. You should actually bring food because they don't serve food. They don't have a restaurant in the Joma Speak uh, uh, accommodation area. But I don't think I can live in this area like every day. I could just come and visit. I'm a mall person. I'm a city person. So <laughs> this would be lovely for a vacation like this. A stopover is beautiful. This is so refreshing. It's so calming. You could hear the birds chirping. I wish you could hear that on my video. <laughs> this is Don Salvador Benedictus Beauty.
that mountain that's called Mount Kaloot. I think that's the only active volcano in Negros Occidental and I think that has erupted when I was in college sometime 1994 to 1997 and I've seen the ashes fell off the ground actually when I was at the amphitheater of Unuar, I remember that and also when I was in college I went there for like four four days for the rural developmental journalism and that was for the thesis we were preparing when we were graduating in college picking <laughs> pineapples but they're not ready for picking yet and there's a lot in this area see it's like a pineapple field it's truly an agricultural land and on the way you'd see actually rice fields look at this this is beautiful beautiful Because our hotel are in a resort where we're staying tonight doesn't have like a restaurant that operates for meals of the customers we had to come out go out and then we didn't have a choice but to go to the uh, Osagai Plaza <laughs> the church is situated right there on the right side where I'm facing right now this is the, the school and also we're having a dinner here they only start here at 6 o'clock so it's like a tent uh, restaurant set up only for dinner. Oh well, we actually had a chance to visit my sister who's coming with us tomorrow to Lakawan. We visited my other brother who lives in the same area on the other side of Loco. It's called Loco. Pepito Jr. This is the senior Pepito. Yeah, the Filipino burro pie, the original burro pie, but with individual chicken. <laughs> this is our own burro pie. Random stuff is interesting. a short room tour at the Si Chan Resort. 
near the seaside. We're actually looking for a resort that would accommodate a family and give Papanga space to enjoy the sea breeze. So it has to be seafront, but it has to be affordable at the same time. And this one's quite big. It has this sitting area with which Papa could actually enjoy. It's a couple of steps to the seaside area where he could enjoy a fresh air and you know the calming sound waves would be there for him. And yeah, there's a big master's, uh, what's this, a king size bed and a two. I think we could squeeze in two people here. <laughs> like last night's, you know, the Filipino sleepovers. Yeah. It's 2,000 pesos. It's like what? Um, like 10 dinar. I don't know, in dollars. And they have a swimming pool, so that's inclusive of swimming.